Final preparations then taking place. The marshal pointing towards the lighting gantry. We get ready then to go racing for semi-final one for the supercars here at Pembrey. Julian Godfrey starts on the inside on pole position. O'Donovan and Towhill alongside him. And then Mark Donnelly, the reigning champion on row two. Ready to race board on. Green light and go. Good start from Godfrey. Great start from Towhill on the outside. They're going to squeeze O'Donovan. O'Donovan with no room to move it. He gets himself ahead though of Towhill into the first corner. So it's Godfrey from O'Donovan from Towhill. From Donnelly as they come through into the second series of corners. Now going Joker on the first lap then is Derek Towhill. So he gets himself out of third place, out of the traffic. He wants to run a clean race on his own for the first couple of laps whilst everybody else sorts themselves out. So it's Godfrey from O'Donovan from Donnelly now and then Towhill brings up the rear at the back of the grid as the drivers come down the speedway straight in towards the Brooklyn's hairpin for the first time. And what is Ollie O'Donovan going to be able to do about the race leader, Julian Godfrey? O'Donovan sitting third in the standings, just five points adrift of Robert Svissels in second place going into this semi-final session. And it's going to set us up for a very interesting final, but a bit wide through the first corner there for O'Donovan. That's going to cost him time and could cost him a position when he goes joker later on in this race. So let's see whether that can prove to be a costly mistake there for the Northern Irishman as Godfrey, the race leader, comes through the Carter's hairpin on towards the Speedway straight. And we can see just how close Derek Tohill has got in that first sector of the lap following that mistake from O'Donovan then. It's now down to just a couple of tenths of a second and the yellow Ford Fiesta is coming under all sorts of pressure now from Tohill. And that does mean that once O'Donovan takes that joker, that Towhill will be in a great position to try and hold on to that second place. Here, though, is the race leader, Julian Godfrey, coming through the first series of corners already at the start of the second lap. Continues on his normal route as it stands now. O'Donovan goes joker then. He's going to lose out to Derek Towhill, who comes through the normal lap. So Towhill now promoted up into P2. O'Donovan slips down to third place as a result of that mistake and indeed the pace that Towhill had up until that point. He was Looking very quick already was Towhill. It was surely only a matter of time before he was able to find his way through. So O'Donovan's clearly struggling with something uh, with the balance of the car by the looks of things. But it's Godfrey that still sits out in front in the lead of this race. He's got a good gap over Derek Towhill at the moment. And I think it might, as it stands, just be enough for him to hold on to the lead as he comes through the Joker. It's 4.7 seconds it was over the timing line. Godfrey continues on then on lap three out of six on his normal route through the circuit. Let's see when that tactical decision is going to come into place and when he is going to go joker. And I'm often wondering what's happened to Mark Donnelly here because he's just having an absolute uh, shocker of a weekend by all accounts. Let's not forget, reigning champion in 2020, down in seventh place in the standings, and he's just sort of never really gotten going. He's been in these races and competing relatively well, but he's not had the pace that we've been used to seeing him, and certainly not the pace that we saw from him at Lydon Hill at the first and second round of the Five Nations British Rally Cross Championship back in May. That has definitely swung in the favour of Julian Godfrey and the likes of uh, Derek Towhill here this weekend. Now Godfrey coming through on the start of the fourth lap. Does he go Joker? Yes, he does. So goes into the Joker lap, comes out. Where is he going to emerge in relation to Derek Towhill? He's miles in front. Lovely, decisive driving there from Julian Godfrey, able to increase that advantage and is now in the lead of the race, having jokered and has now got a comfortable advantage there. So good stuff from Julian Godfrey, exactly what the six-time champion needed to do to assert his authority on the supercars here for round three of the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship. And it's all going to be down to Derek Towhill now, the Irishman in second position, to see whether he can do anything to try and close that gap down to Julian Godfrey and get himself back into contention for the win in this semi-final and let's not forget of course this is going to have a decisive impact on where they will line up on the grid for the final for round three later on here today. We're on the penultimate lap now then coming through the S-Pens and I'd say that Towhill's closed that gap down. It was under a second coming over the timing line by just a couple of hundredths or so but that's certainly looking a little bit less as they come through the first section but then the straight line speed of Godfrey's older model of Ford Fiesta seems to be well, he's not lacking in any grunts, is it? Let's put it that way, coming down that straight. So it's interesting to note that 
Godfrey is stronger seemingly in the faster sections of the lap, whereas the Titan twisty bits, that's where Toehill's agility, maybe the newer chassis on his Ford Fiesta, just helping him get that car rotated a little bit more. On the final lap we come now then, it's Julian Godfrey, the six-time champion that leads the way in his Mark V Ford Fiesta, coming through the Titan twisty section. This is where we saw Toehill closing up on the last lap, and it's where we see Toehill just increasing that deficit ever so slightly, but just not able to get himself close enough to launch an attack on the race leader. O'Donovan's going to have to settle for third place here, and that's going to have an impact on where he sits in these standings, depending on, of course, what happens in the second of the semi finals coming on later here today. Robert Spittles was in emphatic form in the Citroën C4 this morning, so let's see whether he can do anything at all. Over the line, though, comes Julian Godfrey to win the semi final one of the supercars here ahead of the man in second place of Derek Toehill. Oli O'Donovan's going to come home in his Ford Fiesta, the number two machine finishing in third place. And the reigning champ, Mark Donnelly, finishes P4 at the end of that supercar semi-final here in Pembrey. It's Godfrey then on top, continuing his authority on round three of the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship here in Pembrey.